We are celebrating the life of beloved talk show host Regis Philbin. There was never a dull moment when you were watching the legendary larger than life television personality and whether you saw him in the studio or on the street, he always knew how to make you feel special. For generations, Regis Philbin was welcomed into millions of households every morning. Nice to see it's a Joining forces with Kathy Lee Gifford for the nationally syndicated show Live with Regis and Kathy Lee in 1988. His first day hosting, not going quite as planned. Here it is, our big national day. Yeah. I swear this digital clock I've got, you know, that goes on when it wants, yes. didn't go on at all last this, mo this morning. No alarm at all. Woke up a half hour later than I usually do. One day I'm going to bring this clock on the show and smash it with a sledgehammer. Well, that's something to look forward to. He hosted the show for nearly 30 years. Mary Hart, who briefly hosted a variety show with Regis, talking to GMA overnight. It was about family, and that's what people remember about Regis. Regis loved people. People loved Regis. And Regis was part of our ABC family. Here with Diane Sawyer, joking about his relationship with beloved co-host Kelly Ripa back in 2007. Do to her, you what do I do to drive you crazy? Yeah, that's a good question. Show up? <laughs> <laughs> and our Robin Roberts talking to him in 2011. You truly are someone that we in this industry have looked up to. Does my name come up in the GMA meetings? Does Daily. Stephanopoulos say, how would Regis handle this? <laughs> I don't think so. Regis was not just a guest on GMA. He made his rounds, hosting more than a dozen today. Disney parades between 1981 and 2008. Merry Christmas, everybody. We hope you're having a spectacular holiday. A very Merry Christmas Day to everyone. Once again, we're all together on Christmas. <laughs> and he was a frequent guest on David Letterman's Late Night and Late Show, tallying 150 total appearances, more than any other guest in Letterman's talk show history. Sometimes even showing up as Shrek. <laughs> Why, why are you doing this? Because Regis? I thought you'd enjoy it. Well, I am enjoying it. His final appearance next to Letterman came in 2015 during Davis' second to last show. Good luck, buddy. God bless you, Regis. Thank you for everything. I love you. I, really I love don't. you, too. And, I, and, I, and I, I don't want you to forget about telly. You must come back to television. You must. Right. It's an absolute right. must. God bless you. Okay. Letterman paying tribute to Regis in a statement saying he was, quote, always the best guest we ever had, charming, lovable, and could take a punch. I love him. Hmm. And there was a reason he has a Guinness record for the uh, most hours on television because people absolutely yeah. love seeing Regis Philbin. And he just brought an energy even when you watch those clips. I had a professor relationship with him, Robin, and I know you did as well. I remember sitting down with him when he announced that he was uh, leaving live. Uh, but the thing I remember, guys, about him so much, uh, my father, Colonel Roberts, very serious man. Regis could make the colonel laugh. <laughs> the joy that he brought my, my, my mother and father. And it was just something about Regis, how he just crossed, crossed the generations. He, he just, there's... He just touched us all. He really, really did. So special. He really did. You talk about Joy. What a love story with his wife, Joy, Yeah. Uh, as well. Yeah. We yeah. remember them wishing this whole family yeah. well. You can see the special. Regis Philbin, The Morning Maestro, tomorrow at 8 Eastern, right here on ABC. Mm. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.